All right, here's how to edit video on an Android tablet. Now this is a super cheap Android tablet. This one was a hundred bucks. So the best option on this one is the Power Director made by Cyberlink. Um, I'll show you how it works here in a second. Uh, Adobe Premiere Clip is another option if you've got one that is a little more, uh, more advanced and expensive. On this one, I tried to install Adobe Premiere Clip and it wouldn't let me. So we're gonna open it up. And we're going to see what it can do. So PowerDirector lets you choose files from your device. So in this case, I'm going to go grab a couple of pictures. Here's one of a motorcycle. And put them on the timeline. Here's some pit bulls. Here's an orange cat. So it's pretty easy to add things to the timeline. So once we've selected our video files, I can hit the back button. And you see you've got video, you've got pictures, and you've got music. So if I wanted to put a still picture in here, I could grab this picture. And I could put it wherever I want. I'm going to go ahead and put it at the end. Go back. There's music. If you want to put music in... I don't have much music on this thing yet, but if we go into music, there's some demo music we can throw in there. So we're going to throw that in there. Or actually, let's put the long song in there. So the music is in there. So now we've got still pictures, music, and video in it. Now the other cool thing is you can do over in this one, square on top of square, whatever the hell that means. Um, you can do a title. You can do an image or you can do a sticker. So like for stickers, I'm going to hit the thumbs up. So now if we hit play, there's the Facebook thumbs up on there. That's pretty cool. So this is a demo version of the program. So which means you're going to have this watermark that says power director in the bottom corner. And it's going to be popping up weird ads throughout the process. It costs five dollars, so I would admit uh, I, I would just recommend spending the five dollars. And then, if you want to edit, you can drag the clip. So let's say we want to get to the point where you can actually see the motorcycle in this clip. We'll go to it. Oh, well, let's look at the price too. And then the video starts with the price. So there we go. Very old school Japanese look to it. So you can hear there's music. And there's the audio of the actual clip. If you want to, you can hit this music button and you can make either the music track louder over here or the video track louder. So we'll, we'll make the video track a little bit louder. Say OK. And let's say that's enough motorcycle. And we want to make this a super short video because that's a real long walk around of this particular motorcycle, which is a pretty cool bike. We're going to just drag that back. So you just, you're just clicking and dragging. To shorten up shorten up your clips so it's real easy just find the end of the clip and then pull it back there we go and then let's say we want to move on to the pit bull part so if you want your kid to get some exercise give him a pit bull there's the running of the pit bulls. So let's say we want to start right here where we've got uh, one dog looking at the other dog. I'll just drag this over. And you can see there's a preview on the top so I can see exactly where my scene's going to start. When I lift up my finger, it's cut off that part. And then there's a kid running with the dog. And then we cut that off where he's looking tired. And then there's an orange cat. Click up here to get it back into movie mode. He does not like the pit bulls. So we're going to remove him back over here. And then we got me on my motorcycle as a picture. So that's a picture that I was able to just drop in. So you got the cat. Got the picture of me, my motorcycle. Let's drop a thumbs up in there. Boom. 
back, back, and then back, and then here's the ending of our magnificent movie. There's the guy riding his motorcycle, and there's the big thumbs up. So you can do pretty much everything you need to do. Also, the one thing you might say was missing was, uh, well, there's FX. So you can do special effects on the, the actual video itself to make it look funky. Uh, so the other thing you can do is if you go back into the media page here, on the music section, there is voiceover. So if you wanted to record a voiceover, like here at the beginning, let's say we want to do a voiceover. There's a record button, and I just hit it, and I say, Are you ready for some motorcycles, pit bulls, and other stuff? Yeah. And I hit stop, and then and hit the button. Hey, well, Very old school, so then in that case, if I crank so if I crank up the volume there and then I hit that again, then you'll be able to hear my voiceover, which is awesome. When you're ready to render it, you go back, say yes to save it, and then you have the option to produce it. So when you produce the video, I'm gonna save it to my device. Now, if I choose full HD, it's going to ask me to give them $5. So, that's a good time to spend the money. But if you don't want to spend the money, you can say no thanks. And it'll go ahead and render it. So, I'm going to save it. So, I'm going to do it in HD to internal storage. I'm going to hit produce. I'm going to say no thanks. And it's going to go ahead and do it in HD. If you like the result, then I think it's worth the $4.99 to go ahead and buy the program. That's fully functional. You know, I would say it's competitive with, with what Apple has in iMovie. I would prefer to use the Apple stuff. That's what I'm using to shoot this video, actually. I've got my iPhone stuck on a tripod shooting this right now. and I, I prefer Apple, but if you already have a kind of a crappy um, low-end Android tablet, or even if you have a really good Android tablet and you want to start editing video and shooting video on it, give this one a shot. This is the best thing out there. There's some other programs out there that charge you a monthly fee. Like it's five bucks a month forever. And um, I'm not even going to mention their names because I think that's unconscionable that they would try to get you every month for money. So five bucks is totally reasonable for this program. And it even works on dumber devices. Probably is better on smarter devices. I use it on my uh, Windows tablet. They have a Windows version that works great. And I do it to, to uh, edit video from my GoPro. And that works fine. So, uh, and on here too, if you had a GoPro, you could plug the, the memory card into it and edit video on here.